Here we go, folks. We're back. We're back here. Robbie Tower's back here again, and, uh... We got a six-man tornado tag going on here. We got Price Sanders, Marvelous Merle, and Steve Austin of Blanchard Enterprise is going against the main event mafia of uh, Samoa Joe, Sting, and Bobby Lashley. So this is going to be an interesting matchup. Yeah, Blanchard Enterprise. It's a new group that just came up out. I guess the Winter Circle is no longer uh, a, a thing anymore because Merle and Fisher have gone off and joined Tully Blanchard along with Price Sanders and Steve, stunning Steve Austin. But their opponents today, I guess Bobby Lashley's been biting at the realm to... Uh, Want another piece of Merle after what he what Merle did to him a couple weeks ago in uh in that one on one matchup when uh Blanchard uh distract the referee and Merle would hit him with a chair and then low blow uh Lashley for the victory. And there they are, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is going to be interesting. This is the first time we get to see stunning Steve Austin since coming back. He did make an appearance, I think, the second week of the uh, dr uh, the draft of the uh, free agent rush. And he said he signed along with uh, Blanchard Enterprises. So that means he's managed by Tully Blanchard. But, of course, you know, Tornado Tag Matches, the manager... Is banned from ringside, so Tully Blanchard's not at ringside tonight. He's probably in the back still uh, for uh, Ryan Fisher. <laughs> but right now we're looking at three of the most devious people you ever want to see in wrestling ring, I gotta say. No doubt about it. If you've seen these guys, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Stunning Steve Austin, who's been a multiple time champion and stuff like that, along with Marlos Murrow and along with Price Sanders. They are members of Blanchard Enterprises, of course, along with the solution, Ryan Fisher, who we saw in that 10 man rumble. I wonder what the heck has Tully Blanchard trying to put together. His own version of the Dangerous Alliance? That's what I want to know. And Austin used to be a member of the Dangerous Alliance with Bobby Eaton and Arn Anderson, Rick Root, and Larry, oh, was it, uh, Larry Zabisco. And here they are, folks, the main event mafia. Here we are. Bobby Lashley's going to be one in revenge against Merle. I guarantee you that much right now after what happened to him a couple weeks ago. When Merle took all those shortcuts to win against Lashley. And, uh, you know, I, I would say rightfully so, but you know what? Hey, still, look what you did now. You erupted the that's known as Bobby Lashley, the Dominator. <laughs> Here we go, folks. 
Oh, and Bryce Sanders takes on Samoa Joe while Murrow goes out with Sting. He avoids Lashley, feeds Austin to Lashley. What a low life, oh my gosh. But Sting ain't gonna put up with that from uh, somebody like Murrow. And Lashley now taking down Austin. And the main event mafia is looking really good, along with Nick Aldis. Each one of these guys are having a fourth member. Oh man, look at Lashley just take Austin and uh, swing him over and drop him. And stay now, pound away on Murrow. Oh man, look at that, and Murrow now getting just ram, ram dazzled by Sting. Is that a word ram dazzled? I don't know. If it isn't, then uh, you know I'm gonna trademark it tomorrow. Write down your history books. Robbie Towers trademarks the word ram dazzled and it's not taken. Well, never mind that. Murrow just nailed Sting with a nasty knee to the face as his neck was hanging out there on the rope. I'll tell you, I gotta admit, Blanchard's got himself some real blue chippers for this group. I'll tell you that much right now. What he knows about Blanchard, he likes finding talent that is like cut from the mold of his style from when he used to wrestle in the days. And he sees that Merle, Austin, Sanders, and Fisher. Rumor says he's looking for maybe another, or he's looking for maybe a fifth member to make it a, a pentacle of talent. Will he get it? Who knows? But right now Sanders is taking on Samoa Joe. Oh, and Sting with the suplex to the outside, and now Merle taking down Lashley again. Oh, wait a minute. It is, oh, wait a minute. They're finally getting their hands in. Yeah, typical Merle. I'm not surprised. He goes after Lashley while Lashley's like either distracted or beat down already. And now back in the ring, Sanders is going to try to pin Lashley. No, nah, gets out of it. The Domineer gets out of it. And Merle, oh, and there's that low blow again. Oh, oh man, it's legal because it's Tornado Tag. Gosh. For the sake of humanity here, man. Come on. And right now Sting doing a number on uh, Austin. He's just nailed him by ramming his chest into the apron there. And now Sting being a good teammate that he is, he saves Lashley from further beatdown by the marvelous one. And now, oh man. Sting just working on Murrow there, and uh-oh. I thought he was going to go over Stinger's flesh, but not yet. Usually when he has him in the corner, he gears him up, and right now, the Mafia had Murrow outnumbered. And Murrow now takes down Lashley. And now Samoa Joe going to try to come in and help out Murrow here. And he does. Clothesline. Beautiful. By the Samoan submission machine. Of course, Samoa Joe, he's taking this matchup because he wanted to prepare for Lorenzo and Wolfchild this Friday. As him and Nick Aldis get to challenge Lorenzo and Wolfchild for those prestigious MSW Tag Team titles. And Merle, oh, pile driver. Good gosh almighty, oh. There, there's a real head ringer. And Lashley with the power slam on Austin. And Lashley now with that stiff kick to a bread basket. Don't forget, Lashley's a dangerous guy. He's a triple threat. He's a former soldier. He's a wrestler and he's an MMA fighter. I mean, that is a definite triple threat. In my opinion, it is. And those are some tough fields.
and Austin right now. Oh, the flying bulldog. And I call it flying because he doesn't have the guy grab. He grabs him in midway. And oh, oh boy, not good. Oh, slingshot suplex right from the pages of Tully Blanchard right there, folks. Oh, he breaks out. Thank goodness. And Lashley, uh, oh boy. This may not be good for Murrow. Oh, but Sanders is right there to intercept Lashley. And Lashley at the interception of his own with a knee to the head. And now, oh, overhead belly to belly. And look at Sting power out. And Lashley, oh man, look at that power. These guys' nemesis up in midair. Oh, what a suplex. Oh my gosh. Oh, Scorpion Tough Drop, there it is. And oh man, Sanders breaks up the pin, but oh, he's gonna get one too. Oh man, he gets one too. Wow. The Mafia looking dominant here. And that's it, Samoa Joe gets the pin on Sanders after Sting drops the DDT. Well, thank you, Shockwave. I mean, uh, I, you know what, sometimes when there's a grudge, I guess it brings out the best in everybody. And these are six of the best. I mean, I may say that Murrow, D, uh, Sanders, and Austin are devious, but you know what, they are really skilled wrestlers. But of course, they, they met on with a dangerous force with Sting and who he calls his two members, the heavy artillery at the group. Murrow, I mean, uh, Samoa Joe and Lashley, and that was, yeah, I'll tell you what, that was a heck of uh, a win for those guys. No doubt about it. Lashley got revenge thanks to some good friends and Sting and uh, Samoa Joe. And good God, they got to change that. <laughs> They're just having fun in the ring now. What the heck? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Incredible win for the Mafia. Can Samoa Joe... Keep the momentum up going into Friday as him and Aldis challenge Lorenzo and Wolchow for the tag team titles. I think Aldis is here. I think he's got he's got some words to speak. Let's check and see if he'll be if he's around or not. Oh, maybe not. Oh boy, okay. But we know the main event tonight's gonna be Lorenzo and Robert McManus. Take on Corey Crichton and uh, Adam Strange. Oh, here we go. Aldis just tweeted to me. He says that Lorenzo Bear gets business out of the way tonight because he wants them 100% focused and 100% physically out when they defend those titles against himself and Samoa Joe. Because he says that himself and Joe... We'll be close to Friday night. I guess you can add all this to think that Lorenzo should just stick to the concentration. Spend those tag team tells with Wolfchild. And you know what? I can agree with him because it's like as long as you're a champion, do not let, try not let the outside situations get to you. But well, we're going to get to Statlander and Nova now. Ladder match for the tri American Tell. And of course, the reason why this match is happening tonight instead of Friday is simple. Statlander's got, she's got another prior engagement to go to. And my apologies, Chris. I mean, uh, it'll be disappointing not to see you there. But you know what? It's great to see you tonight. And it's always great to see Nova, too, who, who's put in double time this week, too. I mean, 
She's not going to be going against Statlander, but she gets to go against Miss Wonderland one more time as she defends the Universal Toll because Miss Wonderland won the Battle Royal earlier in the broadcast. Hopefully you guys could see that all okay because the twitch on my computer screen was not letting me do that. And I do apologize if you didn't. Yeah, I'll tell you what, in the middle of the Battle Royal on the first take, 2K decided to have a crazy glitch and just back, just black out of it and uh, go back to the home screen of the system. 2K, I swear, you don't, you never seem to uh, amaze me. And there is Nova right there. And there I am in the background. That is me, Robbie Towers. As I'm watching this from, uh, as I'm watching this as this goes on, folks. Normally this would have been uh, this week in MSW from MSW Studios, but we decided to have a pre-show for Halloween Havoc. Like I said, there's a lot of people not here tonight, but they'll be here Friday, which are, I'm talking about Jimmy Coldblood Jr. and Jerry Bennett, Ronnie Taylor, among the, some of the people, Sarah Perry, who's not here. So, uh, well, you know, the big deal about the, the fans are happy about this because the thing about it is that it is in Miami, so therefore the ticket that they bought for Halloween Havoc, they got free admission into uh, the pre-show if you're able to uh, attend it tonight. No doubt about it. Statlander going after Nova, and these two uh, have really had some great matches together. I enjoy watching these two as they go against each other. I mean, I would I got an idea. How about Statlander and Nova as a tag team? There you go. Usually the best of enemies can be the best of tag team partners. I mean, uh, and they're not they're not really enemies, they're just friendly rivals. Because they're competitive, friendly rivals. And nothing wrong with that in the world of wrestling. We still believe in that. Some of the other matches going to be on Halloween Havoc. For example, we got. John Monaco going to defend a Tri-American title against Blue Arrow, who won a Battle Royal last Friday. Alex Brimstone is going to be challenging Reverend Morbid for the uh, Great Lakes title. Robert McManus is going to be challenging Adam Strange, and that match is going to happen because we already saw what happened a couple weeks ago when he was going to go against Adam Strange. Randy Orton came out and interfered on that. Who knows, I wonder if Randy Orton is going to try to ruin that again. That's what I want to know. Now, a lot of stuff going on here. I'll tell you that much right now. The brand extension just stirred up into a real uh, interesting stuff. I'll tell you that much. And just to let you know that MSW Superstars presents uh, a, uh, was a poster there that's on the uh, screen tonight. That was actually not done by Dark Light Studios. Tonic hired an independent artist to do that. Really nice work, I gotta admit. Sometimes basic is nice, no doubt about it. I know some people, uh, I don't know, I, I heard some fans tween around calling it basic. But it's like, but you know what, basic is, basic does the key as long as it relays a message. And that message was, there was a pre-show holiday special. Halloween Havoc. Everybody's asking why did we decide to go to Halloween Havoc? Well, it's simple. We want to pay tribute to one of the greatest October pay-per-views around. Yeah, Hell in a Cell's great, but you know what? I grew up with Halloween Havoc. And oh! The best moonsault ever. Forget you, Christopher Daniels. You don't have it. Nova does. Yeah. I think next month we're going to be paying tribute to the Survivor Series 
Tonic says he wants to pay tribute to the uh, the uh, was a marquee uh, big events that happened each year. So we'll have that happen in November, and I think the rumor is December's going to be Starcade. Oh, man, right there. Man, Statlander, I'll tell you what, she plays Nova really top. I got to give her credit. Beautiful cross body. Now here's a question I want to know. Since Statlander's there on Fury, question is I wonder if her arch nemesis is going to come and uh, follow her here from AEW. She's been involved in a feud with a girl named Dr. Britt Baker. But right now she was a little bit injured. They were both on the injured list so they couldn't they couldn't get anything done. I wonder if they're going to resume that. Oh, man, right there. Ooh. Nasty kick by Statlander. I'll tell you what. Like I said, Statlander plays everybody tough. I'll tell you that much. And Shockwave was telling me, cool, I guess he must like, like the idea about the whole uh, pay-per-view thing like that. And yeah, you know what? You got to give respect to the old school pay-per-view days. No doubt about it. I mean, basically, you all remember Close Circuit TV when uh, Starcade was on in, in 1983 when Flair defeated Harley Race in the Steel Cage to win that title. And then everybody remembers the first WrestleMania and then stuff like that. And uh, everybody remembers, except for, what was it, we just said, except for April and, uh, it was it April and the beginning of October, we just like that, uh, those are wasteland months. The similar wasteland is a mark, as a landmark, just like MSW for Cleveland. And right there, Statlander. I'll tell you what, Statlander plays off. Uh, no, like I said, the, you know what? I wouldn't mind watching about a few million matches with these two. I mean, they're great. These two are very competitive when they see each other in the ring. And with them both being fan favorites, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of respect between these two. Definitely. Fans love Statlander and they definitely love Nova. Oh, and Nova, go uh oh. Oh! My God, neck breaker off the ladder. That was awesome. You better believe it, fans. I agree. That was awesome. Man, she dinged her, too. Really nailed her. fans while you're watching this if you watch this on YouTube you know what here's a question I got for you and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep up with the answers who did you think uh, wound up getting the better roster out of the brand extension did you think big time wrestling did or did you think fury did yeah you can write that down in the comments section once these once these uh, segments hit the YouTube definitely and I will keep I will keep track of that and yeah, come on, Nova. Pretty sure the fans want to still watch you and Statlander compete. And going back up there again, are you kidding me? Nova's got some unbelievable stamina. I mean, it's incredible. And she's a veteran in this sport, too. Uh, if you want to know how much of a veteran she is, she was uh, one of the uh, senior members of the Vixens Club when the first bust came out in the uh, Open. She came in later after Tracy Torment, Fatal, and Red Rose, but she was uh, considered to be one of the senior members along with uh, another one that's in prison, Bev Smith. And Statlander will win it. Oh, man. What? Yeah, yeah, that is a tough one. I agree. 
Stat, you know what, Statlander is a tough, uh, she's tough. No doubt about it. I'm going to tell you what, Nova really has nothing to be ashamed of. She, uh, she, you know what, she gives it her best effort, and you know what, that's what, win, that's what wins her the respect of the fans. Win or lose, she, she, uh, she gives it her all. I mean, I commit, you know, Statlander won, but you know what? Both of them are winners tonight, in my opinion, because you know what? That was a heck of a matchup. Ladder or no ladder was still a heck of a matchup. Well, congratulations, girl from Area, area 51. You got it. Well, folks, coming up, I think, is the main event of the evening. And there he is, folks. Crichton and Tom, uh, Crichton and, uh, oh, wow. Melody looks like she got a whole uh, new uh, look to herself, basically. Wow. You got the Universal Champion, Corey Crichton, and you got the TV Champion, Adam Strange. Going against one half of the MSW Tag Team Champions, Lorenzo, who uh, Nick Aldis thought... He didn't think it was a bright idea for Lorenzo to take this match before Halloween Havoc because he always wants his opponents to be 100% mentally set and physically set. And you know what? That's a, it's a good theory. I admit that much. You know, nobody can't complain about anything. And of course, you got tagged up with Lorenzo tonight. Not Wolfchild, but you got Adam Strange's opponent this Friday. And that would be Roderick Manis. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a uh, regular tag team match. Question is, who's going to work together better to win this match? Yeah, it looks like she has been. You're right about that. I mean, wow. That is, that is just surprising. <laughs> oh, man. That is just surprising. I would have thought maybe Clayton's daughter Ardella might have been uh, put her hair in pink, but wow. His wife is uh, taking that plunge instead. Oh, gosh. I, you know what? Maybe I need to get a commentating position again full time. I mean, I miss doing this stuff. I mean, uh, I, I, I know I do the weekly shows and everything, but it's like. I, I like doing a I like doing a broadcast like this. I mean, yeah. I think Earl I think Earl and uh, Doyle for let me do this. Both one of those guys could have took over, but it's like they told me, "You go for it, Robbie." Because I think if I'm correct, how the whole uh, forte is gonna go, I think uh, you might be hearing a little bit from Earl. You might be hearing a little bit from Doyle Friday night. And that's going to be pretty interesting when you got both of them around. It was Doyle who saved Earl from being fired by uh, Malachi when uh, Doyle decided to go on Wednesday uh, Big Time Wrestling instead of Friday event. And that gave Earl the run of the Friday event. And there he is, folks, the rock star, Corey Crichton. There he is. And there he is with the MSW Universal belt. That is... It's MSW right now until we can get back into the multi-fed format. And then once again, once that happens, we'll be able to do that. We'll be able to have the champions hold it concurrently when any other title they want in must-see wrestling. I think the kid, I think Creighton and Melody's kids are with Grandma tonight. Grandma Stella which is Crichton's mom. Of course, she made the full-time move over here now that uh, Crichton's been, uh, Corey's been doing a lot of time in the United States. <laughs> Taking tips from Pink, I see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looks like, yeah, that surprises me. Like I said, yeah, but she is still young. I what am I talking about? And Carla is not here tonight because uh, I guess... Uh, she was pulled back from accounting season, but she told Adam that she'll be back. She will be there Friday in Miami to have his back. 
And boy, what a real, what a what an interesting relationship that became. I mean, with Carla and Adam, who were both coming off of uh, relationships that did not work too well. As you know, Adam Strange was uh, the husband of the one that lost by countout tonight, which is Monica Del Rey. And then we had Carla, who was involved in a relationship with Royce Isaacs, and she broke that off after uh, she, uh, she, him, and Tom Latimer injured Joe Kenny, causing caused him to retire. I heard a lot of federations want to quit. Uh, you know, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, he's really proven himself. I mean, the thing about Crichton is he's not a devious heel. And I, I, I'll admit, I'm not, I'm, and I'm not sticking up for any, I'm not going against anybody else here. He's not, he's no business heel. He's like a Dean Malenko. It's just they don't like his attitude. There's a difference of being hated because of your verbalness, and there's a difference between if you're uh, outside the work uh, trouble that you cause. And Creighton is a guy that's hated because of his attitude. A lot of federations want Creighton. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Eddie Stratton the third's going to be wanting a uh, pitch at him again once they get cool Sega Wrestling Federation going on there. I guess Creighton told Stratton that get rid of the uh, head case known as Williams and got him stripped of the title and uh, he'll come back. But of course Creighton's been a dealer as of late too basically. I mean if there's anybody he thinks he that doesn't deserve that doesn't deserve, deserve another shot against him, he'll make a deal with them. He'll say he'll do it, and, and in return, he wants. He, there's a stipulation he'll throw in there. Now with Bennett, he's got a he's got respect for Bennett. No doubt about it. That's the reason why he gave him a shot. He's like, he wants. Uh, he's he's hoping that Friday when he meets up, that I guess Bennett will be at 100 uh, percent set, just like he'll he'll be hopefully. Of course, I wonder how it's going to turn out to be now that the winner circle has been abandoned altogether because Merlin Fisher is going with the Blanchard Enterprises. Lennox is on the injured list. And of course, right now, Crichton and Adam Strange and Meacher are the are uh, stick around with each other, basically. And we got Lorenzo. Oh, and Lorenzo just walked right in that pendulum backbreaker. Vicious move. And here's the tag to Adam Strange. Already the good tags already made by the two, uh, two uh, superstars here. I mean, trained Adam Strange so well. Him and Joe Kenny, I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, they both trained Adam Strange. And uh, Adam Strange has uh, become like one of the bona fides, uh, one has really uh, kicked it up a notch. All right, man. You talk talk to you later, man. I'll, yeah, talk to you later, later, Ray. Good talking to you, man. Glad you can join me, and thank you. And now I'm strange taking it at Lorenzo here. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, man. You know what? These two are looking good together. Oh man, but Creighton tried to forearm and doesn't do anything to Lorenzo, and Lorenzo had a chop. And now Lorenzo grabbing Creighton. I think it itches Lorenzo that he's got a losing record against Creighton, I'm afraid. He's only won like two matches, and most of the time when uh, they were involved in matches, uh, Creighton always got the upper hand on him. So he's so Ray Little's gonna give me the uh, he's gonna keep he's gonna he's gonna keep up with the new uh, yeah he'll let me know if he they find out anything about Malachi. Cool. I like to know what's going on in that case. And uh oh, oh boy, Lorenzo set up on the perched up like a parrot and uh, oh boy, 
Oh! And that boy, the Lorenzo crash. And Melody's loving what's going on here. Oh man, here, co here comes a trifecta of power bombs. And Lorenzo gets stopped once again. He looked like he was going to crawl over to uh, Robert Manners. Now he's he's talking smack at uh, Lorenzo. Oh, right there on the arm. Ooh, man. A lot of people have a lot of interest in this matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. Well, be, you know, already, we don't have to worry about Strange McMahon. As we, yeah, wh whoever wins this match is going to get momentum in their TV title match. But you got Jerry Bennett probably watching, and you got Nick Aldis and Samoa Joe and Wolfchild for that matter. And you probably got uh, Rick Fur watching too. Keep your concern. And uh, I'll tell you what, Adam Strange and Quayton are working really well. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, and there's that. Nasty slam there by Strange that he likes doing. Oh man, right there, man. I'll tell you what. Oh wait, and uh Lorenzo comes back. I thought Lorenzo was done for, but I guess not. Now McManus in trouble and oh man and McManus gets dinged. Yeah, that's my word of the day, dinged. It means uh knocked over, just obliterated, dinged. And now Adam Strange got McManus in trouble and Oh, man, Lipton Cutter. That's what they call it, but I don't say Cutter. I, I, think, I, would call Lip, I think I would call Lipton Face Slam. Because he lifts him up in a Canadian backbreaker and then drops him face first. And uh oh, oh boy. Oh, there it is. Strange, stranger Things, he calls that. Oh, no, McManus kicks out. Wow. And now, Strange, ooh. They actually cheered for that, holy cow, are you kidding me? Wow. Well, of course, I keep forgetting this is Miami, I guess because Clinton's got, Clinton's got a lot of grudge against Miami. I mean, uh, let's think about it this way, from the days when LeBron bullied uh, Clinton for Miami. So I'm probably wondering, I wonder they got. I wonder they got that all in their blood. Who knows? And of course, uh, Lorenzo McManus being just some, uh, just being uh, avid Clevelanders. Oh, right there, man! They're premium Buster against the uh, apron. Where's he going now, folks? Oh, man, right against the uh, thing there. And, uh, oh, ow! McManus is going to have a heck of a headache, man. Oh, pump handle neck breaker. Wow. Oh, look at that. And, uh... Melody, don't touch him. You'll get your team disqualified. And oh boy, Adam get the get the cheap victory as uh as a uh, as uh, Adam manages to waylay McManus on the outside and uh, get back in the ring before the count was rendered. Holy cow! I'll tell you what, man. Like I said, I thank you all for joining us here tonight. Join us Friday for Halloween Havoc in uh, Miami. 
Recommended links to go to. Got Mark Sunny Sex, Prince Macau, Shockwave Wrestling, Christopher Hovis, The Iron Taylor. Those are some great uh, people I watch on YouTube. On Twitch, I watch Fest Fetch Quest, which is run by Mr. Takamoto. And also Mikkel's on uh, Twitch, too. I mean, check these guys out. You know what? You'll not, you know what? You won't be disappointed. I promise you. And right there, folks, Crichton and Strange looking like champions there as they win tonight. Thank you all for joining us here tonight. Like I said, join us Friday. Take care. Good night.